Right, alright guys, um, it's come to my attention that some of you are struggling with HA charts and some of you are struggling with uh, scalping. So, uh, in particular Stephanie, Stephanie I'm going to be talking to you a lot today, okay? Um, I think Rocky might benefit from this, maybe one or two of us in the room as well. Um, so, first of all, right, I'm going to just show you the adapted um three steps for this okay again step one's direction you're going to be looking for golden ticket setups from the one four eight and daily orange lines and bb bands that's where you're going to effectively be looking for your your trades from okay um those um, orange lines and bb bands will give more than five or six pips so you should be looking you know to uh, really maximize and i'll show you a few trades shortly um step two take trades off the five minute bb bands not the orange lines the bb bands okay you can also take trades off the five minute 15 minute 30 minute orange lines with strong trends and strong golden ticket setups okay now we're talking 45 degree angles here or maybe uh, daily signals all right for that and again step three is just momentum just momentum don't look at the ha chart so don't when you're looking there stephanie because you're obviously um you know struggling with that um particular part of the uh, system so no more looking at the ha charts okay i'm just going to show you a few um screenshots that I've taken um, well, I've just found them on there also as you can see quite clearly there it's 23rd of December this one right so let's have a close look in on the GU here touch the one hour orange line okay touch the one hour orange line 15 minute signal and down okay great trade all right you also had the up move to that which was on the one hour bb band you were outside the four hour you were outside the eight hour you're outside the daily okay 15 minute signal and look at that stuff right. whether there was a five minute signal or not there was a 15 minute signal with momentum and you were on bb bands on all four time frames and that was against such a strong trend as well but again this is entirely up to you if you're going to um do it both ways and, and it, it, it's okay doing it both ways you've just got to remember if you're going against the trend and don't think it's going to go for 20 30 pips just get whatever you get get out with momentum terms again shit. i'll show you a quick way of um just you know saying to yourself okay i'm out bang don't hold trades if you're winning take whatever you get especially against the um um the trend okay just another couple of things to highlight look keep your eye out for th things like this stephanie 15 minute bb band flips look at this you know and this is like what i was saying when you've got a strong trend here this is what i mean here you can also take trades off the 15 5 15 30 ols with strong trends and strong setup right okay it's not off the ol it's off the bb band but look how strong the setup was you know how strong that trend is and then it hits this BB band and bam okay so that's basically what I mean about that Stephanie right let's another quick look GCAD was very similar to the GU look it's outside some point here up to the one hour orange line two really nice trades there but look at the UCAD Stephanie just let's have a look at the you can because there's something here I want to point out that's very important all right you've got outside here we were outside here not far off the orange line here we've pierced the daily it is trending up because that's caused that's created the uptrend that signal there but outside and look at this wick down to the orange line stuff look at it this was the move here look we got a 15 minute blue right I'm not sure if there was uh, a five minute signal, but even if there wasn't, you had a 15 minute blue and you got momentum and look where it came down to. All the way down to here. Okay? The one hour orange line. Then look what happened, Steph. It doesn't matter if that signal appeared or not. 
okay there may very well um, may have been a signal to the upside okay in fact I think this is it here all right looks like it 11 yeah same time so that's it there okay but even so you were bouncing off the one hour orange line with you'd call it you know an uptrend definitely an uptrend for me because that's created as I've, I've just mentioned right so then it goes back up to the 15 minute BB band which also happens to be the one hour BB band whether this signal appears or not is irrelevant definitely this might well that definitely would have appeared that 15 minute yellow but look what you didn't get Steph Rocky you didn't get a five minute yellow you didn't get a five you may have it may have disappeared but there isn't one there now anyway okay but you got momentum and look at that move down right so the trade was made here okay on the one hour four hour eight and daily all right and look what happened right just one other thing I want to point out here right is about the walls uh, Robin picked up on it the other day when you break one wall uh, and you bounce off another wall then you break it the next time okay you can see it there it came down it bounced off the one hour orange line and then the next time boom goes through it right but it happens on you know uh, virtually every time frame you hit the 15 it'll bounce a bit there then it went through okay down to the 30 it bounced a bit there which is this and then it went through all right okay so um again i'll just quickly run through these look 15 minute signals here stephanie where were we one hour bb band okay four hour bb band eight hour flipped up bb band okay get the picture you know you're making your trade from here you're outside here now you're outside here now this is pierce this chances are that that signal would perform you know you've got a 15 minute blue backing it up you also got this here you know backing it up okay it's against the trend but the chances are because of where you were pierced here pierced here uh, you, you know it's going to perform you've got to look at some point and say well this signal's done its job for now and it did it took it outside here and it took it outside here all right excuse me um again look at the ucad outside here look when the one hour signal turned up you know it's absolutely it's a couple of hours later but you've got a 15 minute blue you know i think this was the one that robin was talking about it hit the 15 minute bounced eventually went through right come back down to it right and then pushed up again but again you know that was a decent trade because you were outside here you were outside here the daily had done its job it had taken price to and pierced the eight hour orange line okay again another quick one here 15 minute flip up here stephanie look at this lovely move lovely move all right and that was on that day when it was just nudging up against the one hour orange line eventually broke it. I think BT Stu asked me about this BT Stu I know I mentioned it in the last video but after this bounce price eventually went up to here and I think it even went through that okay the easy UCAD and uh, GCAD the UCAD in particular if you recall this turned up very late I mean, you can look at the time there it's like empty left the room open for a long long time okay and uh, eventually it did turn around that UCAD but Stephanie look it's a really strong trend until that blue turned up there look what price was doing bouncing off the 15 minute orange line and up okay up until that 8 hour blue turned up that's when you should have said right okay maybe stop uh, uh, taking it up now and same with the GCAD look off the 15 minute orange line all right um, so basically what I'm trying to get you used to here Steph is to take your trades from here all right from this time frame in particular the one hour right and the four hour um, 
one because they fit, as Dips mentioned the other day actually, you know, they do fit within our time, um, our session time, so, okay. Again, GU look, 15 minute signal, plenty of signals here to tell you it's going up. You were outside here, you were outside on the 4 hour, you touched the um, daily orange line here, uh, sorry, 8 hour orange line here the daily signal is going to bounce, it's going to bounce, the trend is up, it's going to bounce, and it did. Okay guys, alright again, look at the EG stuff, off the 15 minute orange line, okay, off the 1 hour orange line, pierced it here, right down here, comes back to it here, right down. Okay, so this is where you're going to be looking for your trade stuff in particular. Um, obviously, as I've said, with really strong trends, you know, you'll know you find that price goes off the 5 minute orange lines. If you don't want to take them, ignore that pair. Look for another pair. Okay, again, look at GCAT here. Alright, see it? Big, big flip up and boom. Not going any other way. Alright. Okay, so I'll get rid of them now. We don't need them anymore again. Direction look for golden ticket set up from the 148 daily orange lines and BB bands 148 daily. Alright, take trades off the 5 minute BB bands. Not orange lines, BB bands. You can also take trades off the 5, 15, 30 orange lines with strong trends and strong golden ticket setups. And you're not using the HA charts, you're using momentum only. Okay, Stephanie. Rocky, I think this will definitely help you as well. Okay, right, so uh, I've got a, a, a couple to show you. I think we'll start with number uh, 65 because this is one of them. Um, you know what, it was a bit of a weird day. I think it might have been a Friday this, this day and it was a bit weird. Um, Bit of, yeah, it was a bit of a weird day. Okay, when we, when we came in the room, you know, straight away, step one is, you know, get your direction. Well, you can consider this here because it's a golden ticket number one. It's BB bands, BB bands, you're right at the bottom. Yeah, you're right on the orange line on the daily as well. So you could consider that, right? But we missed this. We missed this. Okay. This particular move up, greens. I've told you about greens, how to reverse things, right? Excuse me. <coughs> What did happen here, guys, is something similar to the GCAD here. You see the BB band flipped up. Okay, this happens on the GU here now. All right, and look what happened on the GCAD. Right, so I'm going to get to that point. Right, you see it here. Okay, so this to me now is step one and step two. All right, you've got some backup. You've got golden ticket number one. Step one, step two. You need step three, momentum. You get momentum, enter the trade. Okay, so I'll just fast forward because I know, well, well, there you go, we're in. Right, okay, so there was the trade. Now, Stephanie, um, I'll pause it there before we go any further. We've got a golden ticket number one, but it's a small red. Okay, it's a small red. If this was super, or I know there's a four hour red flashes as well and if either of them were super then I would say one hour orange line guaranteed okay because it's a small red again such a strong move as well what we've had right I would be looking at this here now with this five minute yellow that appears and say yeah this could go down okay because it's pierced the 30 minute orange line okay you can see the 15 is dropping down as well all right so when this yellow appears here it would be time I think to consider take closing the, the up trade okay now would it be considering taking it down yes because you know it's um, pierced this orange line here as I said and you, you've got to absolutely 100% got to accept um, the fact that it's going to bounce and expect it to bounce guys and that way you'll just You'll make so much more money and so many more pips if you just say to yourself, well, I'll make that a rule. When I hit one of these orange lines, I expect it to to, to bounce with a five-minute yellow, so I'll close my trade. 
okay but another little thing to do Steph I know I said don't use the HA charts I don't want you using the HA charts but just look the first place any movement will appear Stephanie is on the HA charts okay so you might want to use them you might not you might want to just say oh it's five minute yellow I'm going to close it okay but what I personally um, think you should do is just look for a signal look for the signal on the HA charts okay you've got that there so you know the momentum flips just get out right I'll pause again that just get out just get out take whatever you've got there right just take whatever you've got there right okay so again now if you're looking down momentum you should be in the down trade okay obviously got momentum don't look at the HA charts over here don't you look in there now you got momentum that's your step three okay so I'm just gonna keep flicking through this one guys because if not the video is gonna be an absolute mammoth okay bang look at that all right I know you like the um, five minute yellow stuff and I know you can trade them but I'm gonna show you the G card now look you know it didn't get one but look at it moving it's the momentum that's got it going all right the setup was there you were on the 15 minute bb band uh you were on the 30 minute bb band and if you look at the wick on that one hour there look you were on the one hour bb band okay and the move went without a five minute yellow okay sometimes they appear sometimes they appear late sometimes they don't appear as i'll show you as we go on okay so again use the same sort of system if you wanted to close it there steph close it you got a five minute yellow in that close it don't worry about it if it continues on down all right you've still made it well, well it's 35 and it's gone down here too well i can't really see but definite 20 odd pepper there all right stephanie and then you just wait obviously for the next move it did go a lot more as it happened but you know uh, it went down to psychological number 31 as you can see there so uh, again the gcad if you're looking and saying to yourself well i'm going to take that one and that one fair enough just another side note on this stephanie if you're doing these kind of trades off these time frames here five pip stop loss is not going to be good enough same with you rocky you're going to have to do a 10 i would advise 10 pip for the gu maybe a bit more if you're going to trade the gcad maybe leave the gcad if you don't want to trade the gcad don't trade it for now use the other three pairs and i would suggest at least a six pip for the eg and a seven pip for the um ucad okay just and, and at least until you improve you know okay get some wins under your belt all right so again beautiful trade you didn't have to take the up you could have waited for this down okay now you've got a five minute signal that could if you didn't get out there could be your exit okay so again you had two really nice trades there just judging where you were you know on the um uh, blah, blah. on the one hour one hour bb band on this one and you were on the 30 minute orange line it had pierced it here okay and you went back down with well the trend yeah the trends down there okay all right so let's move on so much to show and so little time okay that was 65 on it right so we're gonna go with 61 now uh where are we 61 and again we're just going to do something very similar okay so first and foremost we'll have a quick look you should always do this anyway when you come in the room guys just have a look what the trend is and you know see what's been going on where you are be aware of where you are here okay um all right you've got a four hour blue here so it's going to come down but you've got a daily you've got this you're on the eight hour here right so there's going to be a down move at some point 15 minute bb band's got plenty of blues showing up so there's going to be a down move at some point okay but you have got a daily so you've got to bear that in mind as well right 
also if you're going to take uh, against the trend here you have to be sensible about it you know if you look and um, you're in a trade and the one and fours uh, evolve and get stronger and stronger then you can stay in that trade but if they don't evolve and you don't get too strong and you're approaching say a 15 minute orange line then you should always think to yourself right well I'm going against a strong trend here I'm going against a daily so I'm going to take what I've got okay so anyway we're going to look at it as it goes along uh, GU again it's one of them without a signal however do you take it well you've got a number one and you have the four hour blue and this you know you've get for me you have to because you're outside the four hour you're outside the eight hour you're outside the one hour you've got one and four blues you manage it because you're against the trend okay so for me at the most this is going to go to this orange line and then it's going to bounce okay it's going to bounce expect it to bounce so you say to yourself, well, um, I'm in this trade because you know, I've got momentum and the setup looks good. But when I hit this orange line, that's it. I'm getting out. And in fact, because of a daily, you should be thinking about getting back into the upside. Okay? So let's get there. Right, on the five minute orange line, close your trade and then look for a, a trade up. Sorry, 15 minute orange line. Right momentum it's going to bounce you know it's going to bounce so get in we'll fast forward through this as I say because this is a daily this is where you know you can take the um, 15 minute orange line um, uh, trades Push, push. Right, you see it's got going now. Right, so, come on. Right, GCAD was a, 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 an absolute beaut as well, guys. Look at this. Now you've got a 15 minute blue here. You get a signal against you now, guys. Then just close your trade because again you're back outside here you're back outside you're back outside you've got to say that this has done its job again the chances are we've got something coming down so excuse me so you'd be looking now Stephanie for an exit again if you don't want to use AHA chats don't use them look, don't use them look for a five minute yellow because you definitely get a five minute yellow at this point all right you're that far outside every time frame including the five minutes that I think you know it's inevitable that you get a five minute got on the GCAD there with a 15 minute blue look at all the blues Steph look at all the blues that's your exit that's your exit and quite possibly an entry to the downside because of where you are okay all right now there'll be a golden ticket number one set up here for your direction however again because it's a strong trend you don't have to take the first move okay you can wait and take the second move <sighs> because again I'll just pause again because you're outside three time frames here the second you know if you're not just gonna have a five pick move here right this is gonna maybe bounce again off the um, five minute orange line and then it's gonna go down again and I, what I've noticed when you're outside these big time frames like this is that when they do go okay they tend to go to the five the opposite bb band you know so that's what you should be i, I would definitely on the second move be looking for the five minute bb band all right yeah ba, ba, ba. come on come on just show us show us Come on, we've got a crack on here. And you see how it's gone quiet, guys. It tends to do this. I mentioned in the other video, it tends to do this before it, you know, flips the momentum.
crystal meadow. is showing green as well so one would suspect this is I mean I would close now definitely now uh, red momentum there you go close your up trade right so let's say Steph that you didn't take this down at the moment right say me you rock you didn't take it even though it's you know it's pretty pretty solid setup really considering where you are and all these time frames let's say you waited for the second move so we're gonna fast forward Right, hit the five minute orange line, let's see what happens. Right, still on it. Yeah. Right, so you're kinda looking here now and thinking to yourself, well look, I fit this, it's not bounced up much so it's gonna go down. Okay, look at the G CAD here, it did bounce up a bit there, it's still bouncing up a bit here now. Right. And then you're looking for downs again with the second move because you set up this rock solid, rock solid really so, there we go, you see still getting red momentum, so that could be the second move you understand if you didn't get in here, if you didn't trust it, look how the setup is evolving now you know so, let's move on I'll show you what happened You see, see, see the second move, even that gave you enough. All right, same there. Okay, again, right? Should you be considering getting out here? I know a lot of you struggle with exits, right? But you've just got to use a bit of common sense, guys. You've got a five minute yellow, look where you are. 15 minute BB band, 30 minute orange line, right? Oh my god, is that going to bounce after that move up? Yeah it's going to bounce, it will bounce virtually every time, it just depends how much, should you be taking it, you could do, you could do, yeah, you know, again, just manage it though, because at the moment, you, you're dealing with this number, golden ticket number one, so you manage it, so you manage the bounce, if it bounces up here, gives you 10, 15 pips, and then turns on you, just close your trade, okay, <sighs> You see, it's, you know what I mean? You've just got to expect it to bounce on these orange lines, guys. It's what they do. You know, this one's gone further. I know the red yellows, but look, it's not far off the, the one. I, I would expect this to bounce now. And this. Okay. Would I be taking it? Yeah. Well, again, I'd manage it. Okay. All right, Steph. So, um, you know, you have two really, really good trades there, Stephanie. Right, uh, you could have even taken this one down as I said at the time um, but you know again when you hit that orange line expect the bounce close your trade right now because you've already bounced off this orange line with the golden ticket number one right when you were outside and you bounced off this orange line the next time it comes down it's going to go through it right and head to the next wall which is this one that's why you need this move right especially if you took it here was going to um uh going to win right because you'd already hit this ball and bounced here you know when you were outside when it eventually turned okay so you knew that so you knew this was a pretty safe trade down this you know if you didn't take this because you were a bit worried about it but then this was same with the gk okay yeah, okay, let's move on. Yeah, you see? You know, solid, solid trade because you were bouncing. Bouncing off this wall. Look at the G cap. Oh my god, lovely. Lovely. 2349. You're not telling me you've not got a 20 pipper in there and at least 10, 15 pips on the GU. You know? Guys, it's just. You know, you use a bit of common sense and um, uh, 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 and just kind of make sure you've got, 
you know the one and fours back in Europe, and, and especially for someone like um, Stephanie, who's getting a bit frustrated. I don't think she's a scalper. I think she likes these bigger trades. And um, Rocky, I think Rocky would be really good at this as well. You know, he's just getting him to focus on it uh, instead of um, you know looking at the scalping. Let's get let's get you um, looking at longer term trades. Okay. Just pass up. I want to see what happens here. Okay, you could have got an ear down, but you weren't on a BB band, were you? A bit off it, but flip down. But Ooh, look at that GCAD, guys. Look at that. Look at that. And I'm not being funny, but look where it bounced from. Stephanie, look. One hour orange line. Look at that. Right, Steph. That is. Oh, well, that's 23. Uh, I can't, can't see, is it 68? I'm not sure if it's 68 or what, but anyway, it's, you know, it's a 40-odd pip move. You know, you've had three major trades there, just reading what's going on here. Okay. Well, I should say here. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear. Right. Uh, go to the end and not see what happens on this one I'm not sure again could you be taking this that would have been your exit anyway for the up trade right could you be taking this well you're outside again right and you've still got the one and four so yes 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 you can take this okay gee you you weren't far off the BB bands here even if you'd got in there you know you, you had a trade in there where were you um, I'm not sure if you were outside on that, but anyway, the G cad, U cad's going down as well. So uh, I'll just point that out as well. Look, Steph, I know you had such a strong setup, but look where you were four hour BB band outside on one hour. Should you take it? Well, there's no golden ticket setup, is there? It's just the fact that you've hit these. So that is entirely up to you. Oh God! It just happens so many times, and I think that if you know someone who's, who's struggling scalping, then this is where your eyes should be fixed here. You know, on these charts, and if you can just say to yourself, "Well, I'm not taking the trade until I hit an orange line. I'm going to take it down because it'll be with the trend, or I'll take it up because it's bouncing off the where is it there off the one-hour orange line with the trend," you know. And I think that might help you. Let's get to the end of this. Oh my god. Perfect. Perfect. Look at this, guys. Perfect. Again, because it was a golden ticket number one. Stephanie, seriously, Darren. Let, let's get you trading like this. And you, Rocky. Let's get you trading, you know, from these trade, these uh, charts instead of from the shorter term charts. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so, um, again, that was, uh, you know, perfectly illustrating the golden ticket free steps uh, a bit of an old one here quickly on this one 53 where are we there we go right, and all I'm going to highlight here is again what we are uh, where we are on the on, on all four pairs you know look going up here to the VB band look where we are up at the top here we've got a conflict we've got a conflict okay in signals a daily up an 8 hour down we're on the 8 hour down so basically what this says to me is while we're up here we can take it down when we get to here we can take it up okay you understand that guys that's basically what it means right Okay, we've had we're outside here, we're outside here. We've got a f eight hour, oh, sorry, a four hour signal. One hour orange line, probably bounce. All right. Uh, messy, messy. But again, if you look at the last signals, look, well, you've got some wicks here that are saying, you know, I, I can't keep going up there and staying up there. Last signals down, last signals down. This is down, and this is a, a retrace retracement so probably hit the one hour orange line here and um, rejection okay look at the GCAD I've shown you this one before guys you know how this goes down look at this BB band here definitely 
on the daily going to react eight hour signal up on the four hour here look again i've mentioned about these double tops and double bottoms in the past this is definitely going down so i'd be looking down for the gu and the gcad um, but as i say because of the conflict you can go both ways okay but my preference um, for this because of where we are on the one hour is down okay same with the uh, GCAD because of where we are on this same with the UCAD because of where we are on the one hour chart all right hit that and down uh, one hour orange line really strong trend up so hit that one hour orange line probably gonna bounce again okay let's go kind of move in no signal don't have to take it if you don't look like the look of it that is going though so you are getting momentum uh, BD bands up here I'll be watching for red momentum there I'll be watching for red momentum here okay again red momentum there nice okay so we'll see what happens oh look at this you see you didn't get a signal but you got momentum same on the gcad look you know you didn't get a signal you got momentum that again is just reading where you are on the daily this time and the eight hour excuse me uh the ucad reading where you are on the one hour see with the one hour orange line all right down okay this one here did you, you shot up here but it's probably got more to give on this okay bouncing off the one hour i'm gonna fast forward on this yeah look gorgeous move right five minute yellow let's pause up to where we are oh one hour orange line okay four hour orange line okay we know there's a flashing daily signal we're on eight hour four hour one hour orange line chance this could go up it's gonna bounce what i said about this so many times it's going to bounce okay the fact that you're on three three big time frame orange lines price will bounce okay so it's okay to take this okay let's have a look at the gcad yeah through uh yeah the, the one thing we'll say about this is look at the strength now you know this is a super you've got a four hour you've got a one hour um yeah you could still take it you could still take it because it's going to bounce all right let's see if i get it right um again obviously you need step three stephanie you need your momentum you need your momentum you know that there you go that one's going up okay this one's going up right you see how this one comes out it's, look at the strength of it again it's a lot lot stronger this setup all right jeez look at the gcad there and another thing stuff this is what i was trying to point out about the you know sometimes there aren't signals you know on the five minute uh, thingy but you were uh, time frame but you were getting momentum you know look off that one hour um uh, orange line okay there was a trade in there but again like I say it's a bounce you've got to manage it guys it hits that orange line you've got to say to yourself well, I'll just take what I've got here okay again if anything you might have been better going with this setup you know look at the GU setup it's nowhere near as strong okay it's got an 8 hour and it's got a little red on a, a previous candle if you look at this you've got flashing supers okay um let's fast forward gu's still going up probably to the five minute bb bands again one would suspect you can still going down off that that's a gorgeous move guys that's a really gorgeous move okay your gcad as a you know if you taken that brilliant if you've taken this up then you, could, you know just as soon as mom turned on you just close it take whatever you get um 
and again because of his strength you might have been better just going down with this anyway okay GU again look it's not a strong setup it's, it's that daily's probably still there and you've probably still got the you know the conflict that's going on there and this is why it's not as strong it's not to say it won't drop again from the VB bands I think it you know probably will 15 minutes to move can you trust that well <laughs> from here to there it's not much of it maybe just let it go up and there's your bounce you know it's EG there's your bounce off the one hour day oh, orange line oh I love that you cut that was a gorgeous move but again Stephanie to point out he didn't get a signal but you were getting momentum alright it was the setup Steph pause it there it was the setup here that made it and the fact you were on the 15 minute orange line there but it was the setup there okay alright so don't always think you'll get a um, a yellow um, or a signal sometimes it's just momentum especially when you've got a good setup like that okay <sighs> right let's move on again need to get to lovely point right greens look at these greens here now let's have a look then let's just have a look over here when I have blue daily I know it's red yellow but it's touched the daily orange line you're outside on the f 8 hour you're outside on the 4 hour you've got a 1 hour blue someone's pointing it out so um, what I would be looking for here I wouldn't have taken this I'd be looking for the second move guys and see if this setup improves somewhat in fact I'm going to keep an eye on that GU we're back on BB bands again I get, somebody's pointing it out if it's somebody you know, I think MT is definitely in my head, you know, guys. Right, so, um, BB band slipped down there. I'd be looking for down here. It's pretty messy, the GU, I'll be honest with you guys. But if, if anything, because of where we are, you know, keep going up here and coming down, that is the direction I'd be looking down. Okay. Sanya, you know, if I got in here, I'd be okay. If I got in here, I'd be okay. If I got in here, I'd be okay, you know. edging forward I want to see what appears here ah right there yeah, you cat look G cat probably gonna go up well definitely gonna go up now done done its job it's hit the orange line here got a second moving in um you know uh, occurring bef before our eyes you're getting backup signals you know so green momentum you should be in this to the upside I think I pointed this one out didn't I to um Lambo actually um, and, and I know Flip, Flip, I know you were asking about this last um, week about the blues turning price around. Well, watch, just watch this, Flip. You see this here? And this here, after that big move down, right? We've just had a big move up on the EG, yeah? Now watch, there's no blues here or here. And just watch what happens. You've got a move coming down, but you watch what happens here with these two pairs, okay? BB band on the GU looking for down let's go right there it's gone you see I'd, I, I would be in that now that red momentum So, Stephanie, again, Steph, where you were, 
you know, because of that conflict, it was a messy day, but, you know, if you'd have taken it down from the BB band and then up from the orange line, you'd have had some nice trades, you'd have had that one down there, that one up and then that one down, okay, and flip, do you see what I mean now, flip, about the blues, okay, look what they did with the EG, alright, with that second move entry there, and look what happened here, and it didn't have the blues, so it didn't have blues here, you see, that's the power of the uh, blues on the, the one and fours, mate. Okay, so Stephanie, you can see, obviously, um, you know, now what, um, um, you know, this obviously means is Stephanie Direction, look for golden ticket settle, one, 148 daily OLs and BB bands. Okay, so that's where to look, Stephanie. I know you've got to be more patient. Okay, but I think you're the kind of person that has patience. The same with you, Rocky. I think, you know, you, you are trying to do the Anissa type um, um, trades. So, you know, just just do it, mate. Just have a look at this video. And, um, uh, and you know, if you have time, if you have time, guys, just go through the recordings and just see what happens when you hit these, um, you know, uh, big time frame or orange lines and BB bands. I know Dips was mentioned about it last week and East has always mentioned about it. BI used to mention about it. All the MTs bring it up. Ke uh, Kevin the Sniper, Jules, ev everybody talks about the uh, long term time frames. And if you're struggling scalping, I know Robin isn't, so uh, <laughs> Robin should keep doing what she's doing. She's doing brilliantly. And one or two others that are, uh, you know, Try to follow what Robin's doing, right? Okay, keep quizzing her. If she if she can help you, she will do. Um, but just you know, if you if you're struggling scalping, then look at the three steps um, on the uh, longer term time frames. Okay, like this, this here. Okay, so Stephanie, I'm going to get this off to uh, MT now, and you should. He might put it up tonight. Um, if not it will be played tomorrow well one of them will be played tomorrow I'm not sure uh, which one because the you know uh, they are pretty much both the same it's just that one's you know um, on the long term time frames and one involves the um, scalping the, uh, the HA uh, charts with momentum ok so just Stephanie just don't look don't bother looking at the HA charts. If you can block it out, block it out. You know, uh, Rocky, um, you the same, mate. Uh, and anybody else in the room that's struggling with a scalping, just have a look at this and see if you think you can do this. Okay, and just remember that you, you know, you, if you get three trades a day at uh, 15, 20 pips, then you <laughs> cracked it, absolutely cracked it, because that's a pound a pip today. It's ten pound a pip tomorrow. By the end of the month, you'll be a hundred pound a pip, and, um, and you know the only way is up from there. Okay, guys.